During a recent interview for his foundation with Radio Boss, former Washington Wizard and adopted son of D.C., John Wall was asked what the last few years had been like for him. This was his response. Uh, darkest place I've ever been in. I mean, at one point in time, I thought about committing suicide. I mean, just tearing my Achilles, uh, my mom being sick, my mom passing, my grandma passed a year later. All this in the midst of COVID at the same time. Uh, me going to the chemo therapy and sitting in there, uh, me seeing my mom take her last breath, wearing the same clothes for the three days straight, laying on the couch beside her. You know what I mean? Like, it was rough for him, losing his mother to cancer, losing basketball to an injury, being traded out of the city he loves. All of it coming together had him thinking dark thoughts, and he credits therapy with helping him find his way through it. Now, it's my sincere belief that one of the few good things that come out of the pandemic is easing some of the stigmas surrounding mental health and the willingness of a growing number of people to openly engage in discussions around it. According to the Association of American Medical Colleges, at the height of the pandemic, 40% of adults were reporting symptoms of anxiety or depression. That number dipped to 33% in June, but that's still higher than the reported pre-COVID 11%. And remember, those numbers came from people that are willing to talk about it. You know, like John Legend and Chrissy Teigen and Demi Lovato and Jim Carrey, to name a few. But for far too long, as a group, we've been suffering in silence, working under the delusion that going through whatever will in the end somehow make us stronger. Or here's another one. I don't have the right to feel bad or complain because somebody somewhere is going through something worse than me. Now I've heard people say this, so let me channel my inner Ayanla Van Zant for a moment. No, beloved, you do have the right to feel bad and complain. And just like John, you owe it to yourself to get whatever help you need, hopefully from a professional. Not on my watch. I had to do it. We've all heard the stories of people seemingly having it all together, but then losing a battle that we didn't even know that they were fighting. People like 2019 Miss USA and extra correspondent Chesley Chris, who early this year took her own life at the age of 30. Even comedian Jack Knight, who was just scratching the depth of his potential. We don't know what drives somebody to that point, but we do know what pulls them away from it. We've known for a while. It's just that we don't always allow ourselves to take in what we need. Well, John Wall did, and my hope is that more of us will take the assists he dished out and follow his lead.